Today we are in the city of Canberra, which is the capital of Australia, and I am on the grounds of the Australian Institute of Sport, which is the high-performance training center for, for many of the, the top athletes here in Australia. Now the AIS is actually a government-funded body which sits under the Ministry of Sport and the Australian Sport Commission. Uh, now it's got a very interesting history this place because it was created as a result of the performance of the Olympic team at the 1976 Games in Montreal because the Australians didn't win any gold medals at that Games. And because the Australians are so passionate about sport and it really matters to them, uh, their performance on an international stage, there was a public outcry and the people demanded an investment from the government to, cre to, create, uh, to create better athletes. So what they ended up with, with was this place uh, which was built in the 1980s and has an am amazing impact on sport in Australia. Australia and has um, produced some of the biggest Olympians and biggest athlete names uh, in the history of Australia. Now what's also interesting is uh, it's a huge facility, it's got the Canberra Stadium here, it's got uh, the arena, it's both for indoor outdoor, they've got a residential place for athletes, it's a massive complex and it's kind of like a nirvana if you're uh, an athlete. Um, further to that, um, just last week the Australian government uh, put out its latest budget and there is actually a huge increase in investment in sport for the future. So if you thought Australia was good in sport before, it's only going to get better uh, and it's a bright future uh, for sport here uh, in Australia, and especially at a place like this which is uh, the, high, again, the high performance training center continually producing some of the world's top athletes. So uh, from here in the capital of Australia, Canberra, this is John Siner.